Hey, thank you for visiting me on YouTube. Today, from this point on, any video that I post will say President Barack Obama, President Obama, Mr. Obama, or Barack Obama. From this point on, any video that I do, we'll talk about the government, we'll talk about the community, and of course, the corrupt mainstream media. Anytime I give an honest opinion of it, I want you to post your comments at the bottom and let me have it. Basically, you can praise the work or you can criticize the work. It's not hurting me because I'm doing it out of the kindness of my heart to all the subscribers and friends who are watching me on YouTube. Let us begin by talking about, once again, the dumb right. How far can they go to ruin the Republican Party? I think that anytime I hear more about the same old rhetoric about how Barack Obama, the President of the United States, is going to turn this country into a socialist nation, he's not even a citizen, he's a Muslim, or he's a Marxist, or he stole this election, I mean, it just gives you ad nauseum. Overwhelmingly, he won in the Electoral College, and he's been certified by the Congress. He is now the President of the United States. It's time to move on. For all the critics who are still whining about the election, once again, get over it. Now, on to Ann Coulter. Ann Coulter wrote a book called Guilty. It talks about how the liberals have destroyed America. She blasts the mainstream media. And, of course, she takes a shot at single parenting. Now, coming from a woman who has no kids and is not even married, how would you feel if a woman of her age is talking about you being a single parent, whether you're a mother or a father? How would you feel about that? I mean, Ann Coulter does this for shock value because she has no ideas, she has no clue of what's going on, and she does it just to piss off the progressives, or what she calls liberals. And another person who pisses off the liberals, Sean Hannity. After Alan Combs' departure off of the Hannity and Combs show, Sean Hannity's been granted with his own show called Hannity. Now, I have watched that show a couple times, and I kind of nudge at it. I mean, it's nothing new. It's kind of like watching Hannity's America, only because he just adds on some graphics and multi-cameras. But the thing with Hannity is, it's his consistent whining about Jeremiah Wright, Bill Ayers, about... President Obama's associations with ACORN and, of course, the new administration that he's bringing in. And that includes his former rival, Hillary Clinton, who will soon be Secretary of State. He's been slamming on Timothy Geithner because he hasn't paid his taxes. I mean, you put Dick Morris on, Dick Morris never paid his taxes. He slams on Carol Browner because she was a part of this group called Socialist International. Do you actually know what a socialist is? Matt Drudge. Matt Drudge is a college dropout. He decides to make a web page of news clippings. It takes off. He becomes a millionaire. But as of recently, the Huffington Post is climbing up in ad revenue. And of course, it may pass the Drudge Report and the most watched or most listened to and of course, most read news online site. So I wish the best of luck to Ariana Huffington and the people at the Huffington Post. And to Matt Drudge, of course, the king of phony outrage. Thank you, Miss Ashley Todd. Matt Drudge, you need to update your webpage and try to be more like the Huffington Post because people on the conservative right love your page, but people who are progressive and independent are getting tired of the phony outrage and the sensational stories you post on your Drudge Report. Bill O'Reilly's about to end his radio show, and of course he's still whining about Al Franken, who will soon be senator from Minnesota. The Republicans are upset that Al Franken won and they're trying to filibuster it as well as the Obama stimulus plan. And I guess that, that just goes to show you how far Bill O'Reilly goes to despising Al Franken. Al Franken was a former radio talk show host, former comedian, former actor, former author of a book. <sighs> it's going to be a long six years for Al Franken as long as the four years for Barack Obama. John Ziegler. John Ziegler, boy, he is still whining about how Obama got elected. His new movie called Media Malpractice, go to his website if you listen to him. It's talking about how the media has been favorable to Barack Obama, not John McCain. Of course, you know, John McCain and Sarah Palin, 
They've both been attacking on the president's credibility. They t misinterpret the vice president, Joe Biden's words. And of course, they expect to get positive coverage for negative campaigning. John Ziegler gets into it with David Schuster, and they both get into a shootout over the little so-called interview, which you can watch on YouTube. Has over a million hits now. John Ziegler still whining about how the left is giving her the hell and giving Barack Obama the crown. He's just giving her up for 2012. And I think John Ziegler, who has a history of sexism, anti-Semitic comments, and of course racism, he thinks that he is so, so smart because he makes a documentary. And of course with his group Citizens United, he does another movie called Media Malpractice. John Ziegler, nobody heard of you. Why don't you just sit your sorry butt down? Please, please do not make any more documentaries. The last documentary didn't even get no buzz, and that was just about hype. <sighs> and of course, lastly, my critics. I'm not going to say any names, but I know a handful of my critics, regardless of who or regardless of what political party you stand for, always want to criticize me on my intelligence. I want to let you know from jump, intelligence is lacking a certain feature among many people who watch YouTube videos. Some watch it for entertainment values. Others like to listen to commentary. I don't offer entertainment, I offer commentary. If I try to be entertaining, then you could catch me doing something crazy so I can get the million hits. But in the meantime, I'm going to deal with the thousands of people who are watching my video. I mean, I'm not ashamed of making videos. I'm just doing it because I want to get my voice out there for those who are not aware of my community of Dayton, Ohio, who are not familiar with the way the government's going. It's controlled by the Democratic Party and, of course, the mainstream media, which is corporate on media. So for all those who are complaining about me being a liberal or conservative, libertarian, a constitutionalist or a socialist or a Marxist or whatever, the only thing you got to realize about me is that I'm an American citizen. So from this point on, let it be known that this American is going to continue to post videos. And that's because I got subscribers and friends who continuously ask me to do more. So I will do more. And that's all I got to say. Congratulations to President Barack Obama, his inauguration January 20th. Be there or be square.